Yo, what is up, everybody? It's me again. It's JT Dangerous, and I'm about to do my Raw Presents WWE Clash of Champions predictions. Now, this is the first Raw pay-per-view of this year, only for Monday Night Raw, of course. Again, it's named after the Clash of the Champions, the old WCW event, which is which was a great thing for free when it was on TBS. Not a pay-per-view, it was always a live TV special of the Clash of Champions. So this one, so this is a new take on an old pay-per-view, which I can't wait for. Again, these are not going to be in order, and I will, I will talk about certain matches a little bit more than others. Starting with the pre-show, I don't much care. It's Nia Jax and Alicia Fox. Nia Jax, I mean, I don't much care. They're... They're teasing some Paige return. Okay, Paige comes back. Okay, so what? I'm just going to digress. That match, is, that match is useless. Let's get into the main card, which I'm going to start with the WWE Tag Team Championship title match. The New Day, the longest reigning WWE Tag Team Champions against Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows. Now, of course, the New Day have been the Tag Team Champions for the longest time, and and honestly, as a wrestling fan, I'm, I'm getting tired of them. Like, I, their run is over. Like, they're still entertaining. I'm not saying anything that they're not entertaining or anything like that. I'm just saying that I think they are, they are kind of, like, they're getting stale. Like, they're getting funny, but they're getting kind of stale. And I want somebody new. And then you have the club. Now, finally, they get rid of that stupid, joking boys and girls club. Which one of my friends called them because they were they they seemed so soft, like doing all these stupid jokes. And the whole point of the club was to come in, be the badass tag team, punch you in the mouth, take no prisoners, and they're finally doing it now. They're not playing no more. It's all about smash mouth, punch you in the mouth, and kick your ass. And that's what I like. So in this matchup, I am gonna say the club the club has to be the tag team champion. They cannot keep they cannot keep the New Day the tag team champions for this long. No offense, but I think the club will win this. So I'm taking the club to beat the New Day. Now the next matchup for the newly WWE Cruiserweight title. Challenger, the veteran, D. Brian Kendrick against the the champion, again making his paper uh, making his Raw pay-per-view debut, TJ Perkins. Now, they uh, uh, Brian Kendrick did win a fatal four-way match on Monday Night Raw to get this spot. He tapped out Cedric Alexander with the pirate, the pirate hook, which is his bully choke, which they can't say that, so they're going to call it the pirate hook. Then you have TJP, who did beat Grand Metalik in the final of the CWC. The one thing I had a problem with... Um, a problem with what they did on Raw is that they never, they didn't even introduce T.J. Perkins to the people. Like, they, they said he was going to be there, yet he, he was there for the pre-show. If you watched the pre-show, they had a Skype call with him. And that was the only time, if you saw the pre-show, that was the one time you saw him. But you didn't see him on Raw, which was kind of like, so you're going to put, you're going to show off T.J. Perkins at the pay-per-view, pay but not on a Raw going into the class. So people know who he is. And then having Foley introduce him was kind of deflating because I would have had somebody else introduce him. Like, I don't know who, but I would say I would not have done Mick Foley, honestly. He just kind of just made it look very weak. And that, and But again, this is going to be a good match. I mean, this it kind of makes sense that they're going to give the veteran the first shot at the at the, the young, young champion, being Brian Kendrick's been wrestling. Uh, this is his... I would think this is his first pay-per-view match in the WWE in years. Like, the last time I remember him, he was, what, uh, what, 2009 and on SmackDown? Like, 2008, 2009, when he won the WWE title in that championship scramble to Unforgiven of 2008, which a lot of people don't remember that stuff. Kind of, I do, because I'm a wrestling fan. But in this matchup, I am going to take TJP to retain the WWE Cruiserweight title. Now the next matchup in match seven of the best of seven series, Cesaro against Sheamus. Now, as always, we're gonna have somebody up three, somebody's up three to three nothing, come back, tie it up, and we go to game seven. Like 
We've seen it in baseball. We've seen it in hockey. Unfortunately for my team, I've I've been through that. I've been through that with the, my Sharks and the, the Red Sox. But in this matchup, I am going to take Cesaro to win. Coming back, and I'll say it right now, Sheamus will never... Like, Sheamus will never be the same after this match. Because how do you lose three... How do you lose four... How do you be up 3 nothing and then lose four straight? I mean, Sheamus, come on. Really? I mean, that's just ridiculous. But So I am taking Cesaro to win and getting his whatever... Which title shot he's going to get. U.S. or Universal. Doesn't matter which. I'll be happy if Cesaro wins. And he definitely deserves it. Now the next matchup. The... United States title match. The champion Rusev. Rusev Machka. Against Roman Reigns. Now. Now what can I say about Rusev? Rusev is like beyond amazing in the ring. Like now. I mean. Uh, like he's had a lengthy United States title run as usual with him. So that's not surprising. And then you have Roman Reigns who. Of course, Vince McMahon is going to have to push him to the main event as much as he can. I mean, I can agree with what Rusev says, that you keep giving Roman Reigns chance after chance after chance after chance, and yet you're not giving Rusev that shot. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, like, I'm sorry, I do boo Roman Reigns, because it's Roman Reigns. I mean, I know a lot of people like him, but... They're just shoving him down to our throats. Like they're going to shove Nia Jax down our throats. Because he's part of the Rock's Samoan family. Part of his family. Just like with the Usos. And I could digress on what the Usos are all about. Like what do you call it? On SmackDown. But in this matchup, Rusev needs to fucking beat Roman Reigns again. He needs to beat him. Let Roman Reigns get another L on pay-per-view. Which would be great. That's the only thing I like to see. See Roman Reigns take L's every week of the day. Pay-per-view wise and Raw wise. But I am taking Rusev to retain the United States title. Now the next matchup, which has no title implications. And two, a former friend and a current friend of the Universal Champion, KO, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Chris Jericho. Now, believe it or not, Jericho has been amazing on the mic this year he has been freaking godlike uh, on the uh, in the in in the highlight reels interviews perfect everything and again this is jericho at his finest this this year being kevin owens's best friend which is great to see and him talking about he's the longest reigning universal champion in, in history which is true he has been the longest reigning Universal Champion, and then you have Sami Zayn, who, of course, was Kevin Owens' best friend before Jericho, but he's kind of branched away from Kevin Owens, but they keep, like, they keep bringing him in, like, for some crazy thing, and honestly, in my opinion, what could be better at Survivor Series in Toronto when it's Sami against Kevin for the Universal title in Toronto, which I actually believe that's what's going to happen at Survivor Series for Raw. Raw's Universal title match will be Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. But in this matchup, I am going to take... I think Jericho will put Sami over. So I am going to take Sami Zayn to beat Chris Jericho. To start the roll to Toronto to Survivor Series. Now the next matchup the, for the Raw women's title. The champion Charlotte versus Bailey versus Sasha. Now... Of course, Sasha, uh, Charlotte is a two-time women's champion. Who she she did beat she did beat Sasha at SummerSlam. I know a lot of people hated it. I did too. And then then they brought Bailey. They signed Bailey to Raw, and then they had this triple threat match, which both shoulders were down for Sasha and Bailey. So of course they had to make it a triple threat match. Now, if it was Sasha and Charlotte, I would have said. I would have I would have said Charlotte was gonna win. Now it's a triple threat, so I'm kind of I'm gonna go with the safe pick. Like the safe pick, I am gonna go with Charlotte to retain, and then like if my second best pick would be maybe be Char uh, Sasha, and then Dark Horse could be Bailey. I mean Bailey winning would be amazing, but I am gonna say Charlotte will retain her WWE women's the Raw women's title. 
And now the main event for the Universal title. The champion, Kevin Owens. KO, it's the KO show against CrossFit Jesus himself, the architect, Seth Rollins. Now, if nobody, if you didn't see what happened, how Kevin, uh, Kevin Owens became the, the Universal Champion, how Triple H did the double turn and turned on Seth Rollins to help his boy Kevin Owens win the Universal title, it was amazing in Houston, Texas. Good, best way to do it, best way to turn Seth Rollins' face, which we were waiting for, which they should have done in, uh, when he came back after the injury, but they didn't. They wanted to make him heal, but now he's a face against a top heel. Now, now, will I, now do I think, like, do I think Seth Rollins is going to win? No. And it's not going to, and, and coming from me, I think KO is going to win with some help. Do what you just do what Seth Rollins did when he was a champion. Find a way to get help. And honestly, I think Triple H is gonna cost Seth again to set up something. To set up something. So in this matchup, I am gonna take Kevin Owens to retain his Universal Title with some help from Triple H. And those are my Clash of Champion predictions. I hope you enjoyed my prediction. Tell me what you think below. Comment who you have winning. Let's have a conversation about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!